Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are doing the world premiere of a brand new Class B motorhome with 4x4 on the smaller Mercedes chassis. This is an industry disruptor and I'm honored and happy and proud to be showing it to you guys first. This is a 2022 Thor Sanctuary model 19 PD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the sanctuary and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. again welcome back to another video my name is matt from matt's rv reviews it's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to rvs and again today i'm super excited it's here guys world debut this unit isn't even on thor's website yet this is the thor sanctuary but before i show everybody i would like to say hi to andrea hey andrea hi everybody how's it going it's hot and i'm so excited yes oh my gosh Thor has upped their game in yes. the Class B industry. Yes. Every time I turn around, there's something new. Shaking it up, shaking and baking, baby. Matt, will you please let me drive this after the review? Yes, but <laughs> Andrea, we're not just driving it around this smooth parking lot. We're gonna go all the way over there. Yes. And we're gonna see what this thing's made of. Awesome. I and can't we're wait. gonna drive it, and we're gonna be using the four x four, and it's gonna be awesome. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Sanctuary 19 PD. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 19 feet 5 inches. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter 2500 chassis. That's why it's a smaller one. It has the 3.0 liter V6, uh, 188 horsepower, very fuel efficient and enough power. Also, if you notice, if you come around the side, Andrea, it does have the lift kit. And it's not much. It looks, it appears to be like a two or three inch lift. And that's just gonna give it so much more clearance and everything up front here even though this is the 4x4 this still has all the luxuries of the mercedes adaptive cruise control lane assist the smart lighting and everything when you go less than 40 miles an hour and you turn these lights come on these lights will automatically come on you'll have daytime lights and they'll also adjust themselves to come on at night and the window wipers they, they have that feature where they can wipe with the rain very nice feature Right here, you do have a nice step up to clean off all the bugs and dirt that goes on to your windshield and everything. Coming on down the side here. Look at these tires, Andrea. They're the BF Goodrich. All-terrain tires. I love those. LT245-75R16. I like the rims. And then look at that suspension. All this suspension and stuff is going to make it easier and better to go off the grid, off-road. Very nice. Right here we do have a mirror with the uh, this lights up to let you know if there is something that you need to be cautious about while you're driving or on your left side and right side. Opening up this door, look at this very nice running board right there. Very nice feature. Okay, coming on down the side here, we do have a manual door. Okay, and then check this out. We do have an awning, power awning with LED lights. With the push of a button, the awning will automatically come out. I love that feature. Love that feature. Now, this awning has legs. So with the legs, it does not have the automatic retract if the wind blows too hard. Just something that you need to be cautious about, okay? Also, while this is coming out, notice how right here and here, these are windows, windows for the Class B to let more air flow in. But look at that awning. Yes, and as you can see, the legs are inside here. Yep. So you just take those and out and then it, them up, it stands and then, up on yep, the ground. And then stand them in. Very nice. And uh, what else is a really nice feature is we do have netting here or whatever you want to call it. Also right here, we do have bug netting or whatever it's called which I'm gonna show Becky, our class B specialist, demonstrating it right here. And then look at that. Oh, so this, this awning's a little weird right now, but again, it has the leg stances for it to be up bigger. 
Oh, interesting. It's like a half on half screen there. Oh, so you can. Oh, the and then okay, so then it oh, velcros then this here. Is this is. Oh, interesting. Interesting setup there. Just hmm. different. Very nice. Yeah, and then right over here. Oh, oh, here's why because this makes a table. So the netting will go around this way, so you can still have this table down. That's cool. You know, you can do whatever. You got power right there. Nice feature. And then this. I don't think this is anything of importance. And then you even have a little bit of netting right there in case you need to bring a little extra something, something with you. Now, because this is a four class B motorhome, they do use the, they do the two year limited warranty on it. And then right there, there's a propane quick connect. Um, that propane quick connect means you can hook up a grill on the outside and go camping with we me. We got an electrical outlet right there. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Oh, also, this comes in four colors, silver, white, black, and like a very dark blue. It's a very nice feature. Hey, there's Aaron from America's Choice. <laughs> if you need, uh, we can help you with uh, RV insurance. Just call Aaron. I have a video of that. All and right, Matt, Matt back, watch your head. Yes, well, hang on, Andre. Something I wanted to tell you. Coming around the back, we do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome cannot tow 5,000 pounds. You're good at 4,300 pounds. Backup camera right there, very nice feature. And then right here's the bike rack. And Andrea, normally I warn people <laughs> to watch out about this bike rack because I smack the back of my head on one. But with this being off the road, off the grid, I am A-OK. -okay. <laughs> well, I, I think they made it, maybe they made it just for your they height. Made it, they made it just for me. Yeah. <laughs> but if you are taller than me, which most of you are, you are gonna wanna watch your head there. Here's that netting. Okay, so around the back, they place this netting here. And um, you have a spray port there if you wanna have like a little outdoor shower. This is a decent area for storage. And yeah, I mean- This is what we would call the garage area. Yeah, um, not, not garage, just yeah, just rear storage. And you got storage here. Yep. And storage here. No, this is what Van B, hashtag van life calls it. Van life, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. I'm not arguing with you. And, uh, What's interesting about this, this doesn't seem like a lot of storage, but with these bees, hey, you know, you gotta make do where you can get it. Everything matters. Yes, ma'am. Every space. Oh, and then there's also another screen right here oh, that attaches to the Velcro. Yes. Very nice. Coming around the side. Right here, this is a place where you put your stinky slinky. All right. Right there's your propane tank and Andrea. Yes. Right here. Bing. That's where all the specs is about the store sanctuary for those of you who are watching on TV. And then underneath here, Andrea. Here you go, Matt. Yes, ma'am. We do have, this is a Cummins Onan 2500i LP propane generator. Very nice. Look Very at that. Nice. Right over here. Oh no. Uh, before we show that, it does come with this little toolie fold up ladder. So Andrea, let's go up on the roof and see what's going on there. Oh, Matt. Here we go. Hold now. on. Here we go. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. Up here on the roof, this comes with a solar controller with 190 watt solar panel on the roof. Right here's your wine guard digital antenna. Right up there is a light, uh, like a headlight, which is really cool that you can see while you're driving. A Dometic uh, Max Air fan right there. And then right here is a 11,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioning unit. Also, of course, I forgot to mention these Thule, um tie downs if you do want to put some storage or whatever up here. And then here Take we go your now. Time. Come on on down. You got two steps. Coming on down. Here we go now. All right. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's giving you world premieres of a brand new motorhome and taking his fat ass up on the roof to show you what features the roof has? Nobody. Nobody. I do have a question. Yes. Does that ladder come with the Class B? It does. The, okay. It, it came with this. Yes. Awesome. Right here, we have your Truma instant hot tankless water heater right there. This right here is a cassette toilet. Oh, can I show it? Oh. Very easy to get rid of. Yep. yep. Just pull it out. Just pull it out and then you, you know, if you want to take your poop to the grocery store, you can, you know, but no, <laughs> Who's so gonna do that? well, a lot of people, they'll do this and they'll take it to a bathroom or whatever and they'll dump it out. Ah. Um, 
I do like the simplicity of it. We're not a fan of wet baths. That would be your job. No, it, <laughs> oh, no, it yeah. would not. Right here we have the light and city hookup. Uh, another external power right there. TV, that's gonna be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And th it is 30 amp right there and we do have it plugged in for the air conditioning. And then right over here, this is where you fill up your diesel fuel, okay? This is your entry seat, another running board right here. And it's just very nice. I know, I can't wait to see it. Well, Andrea, neither can I. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but it does look even better on the inside. Let's go, take a look. All right, excited. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. Step up, everybody. There's the cab. Okay, and then as you can see, straight to the back. Bathroom's here. Plenty of walkway. It's so cute. Yes, ma'am. Oh, he's got the air on in here. I do. Thank I do. goodness. So, okay, so you see how the window yes. slides? And then there's also a screen attached oh, wow. as well. Oh, wow, that's cool. Very nice feature. But, Andrea? We're going to sit up front here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have you sit right up sure. there. Sure. So I want to show you how simple something is. So right up here is the front of the Mercedes cockpit area. Ooh. Okay. Tell me, Andrea, how do you feel? <sighs> it feels nice. Something that I love is there's plenty of head space. You don't feel claustrophobic you don't feel like you're driving a bus or anything this is small it's compact it's elevated i feel more elevated sitting in this it is power memory seats andrea Yay. right over there one two and three a little hack that i like to tell everybody is if i sit in the passenger seat i'm going to program it to one so it fits my needs if andrea sits here half the time she's going to program it to two to fit make her comfortable and what you do for memory seat number three you set the seat in the best position for this seat to turn around, which I will show you in just a second. Matt. Yes. Um, do these seats swivel? They, it, they do. I'm going to show them oh, that in just a second. Oh, awesome. Um, this one's going to kind of suck to swivel. Right. But, but my seat will be better. You got four cup holders there. And then look at this. Yes, I like this Plenty here. of leg space. Very nice. And then, Andrea, the cargo carrying capacity is... 1,410 pounds. Wow. Not bad, not too shabby. So then what I'm gonna wanna do is, you always wanna have the seat lifted up some, right? Okay. So that seems about good. I'm gonna get this up, okay? And then. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was simple. And then you go like this. Bam, and then you back it on up again. And then look at that. Not only do you have a seat, but you have a kind of comfortable seat. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, and you could just put the memory on it so it automatically just goes forward. Yep. And then you just turn it around. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Very nice feature. Right over here, you can see your controller panel, your inverter switch. And then this is something to note there is a handle for you to climb up in here. Okay, I just wanna point out here, yeah. not really much storage above, as you can see, you kinda, of, you don't get that in here, but you do have a little bit of space up here, just a little bit. And then it does have the BM Pro climate control, awning retract, everything you can be used from a cell phone. Uh, that's your JBL speaker. And then here's your Dometic Max Air Fan. And Andrea, why don't you show us this kitchen area, starting with this okay. microwave. So it looks like, they gave you a tiny little microwave, which is cute. Tiny microwave, yeah. Tiny one. Oh, look at this refrigerator. Very decent size refrigerator. <gasps> nice. Yes, ma'am. Is that your freezer? Little one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just shocked. Yeah. I mean, because normally you only get the 100 watt one or whatever. It's yep. very small. Yes, ma'am. Cute little cubbies here. Yep. And, and you said that's a panel. Yep. So okay. you can open that real quick. So that's just gonna be for your water filtration system and everything. Okay. Just making it easy to organize. Okay. And everything. Look at this. Solid, Solid surface. surface. Very nice. You got a cute little sink here. Yes, my am. modern sink. And we got, ooh, good size drawers. Uh -huh. They gave you three of them. 
and a two burner cooktop, which yep. is propane. Yep. Very cute. I, I love the Euro style cabinetry. Yep. Just go around and show it yeah, all. Yeah, you can see. And then a, this a is wash. a steam guard. Yeah, steam guard. Electrical outlet in there. I love the two-tone colors yes, that they're doing. Something I do notice it that is very cute. But normally, see how it's kind of curved here? Yep. Normally they used to have like where it clicked in and locked. Okay. Now I like this. Because oh, okay. it seems like it's not going to be going anywhere. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so that's nice. Okay. USB over here, guys. Nice storage. Oh, look at this window. How do you like that? How do you Very like that balance? Cute. Actually, it's not bad at all. It looks good in here. And we have a slow rise shade. Yes, that is cool. You still got another window here. Yep. And as Matt said, they have the screens. I love that. So you can do this. I like that. It's a great feature. Yes. And then okay. over on the other side. We've got more cabinetry. And then underneath, look at that reading light. Very and nice. And then pull that blind down. Just a privacy blind. Right. And you got a coax in this cabinet and another electrical outlet. Okay. And, and they give you a TV. And then right here you have more storage. Okay. With adjustable shelves. Yep. And I then, like that they gave you a TV in here that actually moves swivels. Yes. yes. And then so. back there, this is kind of your living room area. You can leave that there. Sure. This is kind of your living room area. There's a place for a pedestal table for you to set up. Very nice. And people can sit here and eat here. So that one's kind of irrelevant. That oh, it even says best seat's not for occupying. But it's part for the bed. This seat oh is not. This is also not a seat occupied for moving. But those are. Those have the seat belts. These two do not. Okay. Um, and then what's really interesting is how this sets up to be a bed. Oh, but first, just wanted to show you that Panel. underneath there. Yep, uh, very easy to access all your water lines and everything. I don't, I don't know if there's anything under there. I can't tell. Hang on. Let me get these back on. Look, they even got a little space here. And then underneath this one. Oh, yep. okay. Some storage. Yep. And then, what what did you say? A space heater? Oh, no, no. I said there's space oh, here. Oh, a space heater. Yeah, I was about like, to say a space heater. That's a crazy. Put drinks on and stuff if you need to. Right. So now... I need to find the button for the bed. It's usually on the, well, they used to make them on the side. Is it right there? Yes. Okay, okay very so nice. Okay, let me get up because it's electric. And let me we show can you show this, how it just slides down. So it's very nice and simple, okay? But there's... What, you, we're not playing Tetris today? <laughs> no, we're not playing Tetris. Okay, now, now check this out. If you back up just a yeah. little bit. So normally there'll be a piece of wood or a slat of wood to put here. And then you got to put two pillows right there to make the full bed, okay? And then the pillows are falling off and everything's not fun. Watch this. Oh. Just like that. Wow, wait, hold on. Yep, watch. It jackknifes. Oh, I love and fits that. In the place. Wow. Is this not awesome? That is. Talk about no time in all right simple no plain tetris no tetris no 10 steps to make a bed not only that the the, the cushions aren't popping out on you exactly no cushions popping out wow. in the middle of the night because you roll over a little bit um i love this feature you know very nice feature and let's watch it go back up yep that is so cool and again so one of the reasons why i don't like class b's it's because I, I don't have patience for them, you know what I'm saying? And where this class B, it's Look still it's still a was. little bit of work because it is a class B. But I'm telling you, there's nothing to it. Nothing to it at all. It's so very easy and nice. Oh, and we almost forgot. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's now time for the toilet test. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. One thing I forgot to mention, Matt, yes. is I do love all these LED lights, as oh, you guys yeah. can see around. It makes it light and bright in here, yes. which makes it definitely feel more spacious. Okay, okay so here's the wet bath. Yep. You got a medicine cabinet there. A little bit of there. You do have this to hang your clothes. Look how many there is there. Um, right over here, you have this little sink area. And there's your faucet. Yep. Uh, right there's your toilet placement holder. And then this seat does swivel, okay? So believe it or not, it's plastic. Yeah, I'm not enjoying that whatsoever. No, I, I would need to turn it. 
Okay. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, no. That's one of the smaller bathrooms. Yeah, definitely is. You can move that, that tension rod. Um, I do see that there's a curtain at least that goes around. Right, right, right. But okay. but here's what I'm gonna say. This isn't this isn't like, oh hey, I wanna go camping and always poop in this. You know what I'm right. saying? The, like this, this is, is for, for in the middle of the night, you gotta go you gotta go to the yep. bathroom. Yep, or... Exactly. And and you're definitely not doing it with your door closed. And it's not a prime pooping position, but you know, it is what it is. That's van that's van life. Am I right? Uh, absolutely. And like I said, you can see the shower track right there. So at least your cabinet's not getting wet. Yep. And these do lock into place when you're on the inside and yep. you don't want the doors coming out. And underneath here on the door, you do have at least a little bit of space there to put something. Yes. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the new Thor Sanctuary. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this Thor Sanctuary and three things we don't like about it. Also, Andrea, make sure everybody stays for the end because Andrea is going Yay. to drive this thing. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, perfect. Also, I do want to make an announcement. As of filming this, I actually don't even know what the price is of it, to be honest with you. I, I did hear that it's a lot better than its 4x4 competition. This is going to be one of the... Listen, here's what, here's what I can tell you. This is the best priced Class B on a Mercedes with 4x4 in the entire world. So, if you're seriously interested in this, we have a link down to General RV for you to get your mat cash, okay? Uh, but also, there's a link if you want to work with Becky B. Bing! She is our Class B specialist on our team. Click that link and that will send a custom form to you and Becky will call you first thing in the morning um, and she will be able to give you pricing. She'll be able to get you the best price of this. And here's the, what's even better. We actually have some of these in stock. No waiting six, eight months for one of these. You can, you see one you like, you see the color you like, you call Becky or you fill out that form and you could be driving before the end of the weekend. Um, or if you don't want to work with Becky, no big deal. Go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact tab. That will take you to a member of my team at General RV to get you the best price. Or if you're not even ready to buy, not a problem. Send me an email, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com if you have any questions about this RV. But only reach out to Becky or my team if you're ready to buy. And if it's just questions, reach out to me personally. Andrea, three things we love and three things we don't love. Which one do we do foist? Um, I say we do three dislikes, but I just want to show this real quick. Okay. Uh, guys, here are the colors really quick. Ah, very just nice. Just so you get a good idea. Yep. And yeah, I just saw that there and I was like, oh, they might want to see that. Yep, for sure. Let's do three dislikes. Okay, three dislikes. Uh, I'm going to go first. Sure. I have two. Actually, you go first. Or no, I'll go first. I'll go first. First dislike, and it's not its fault. I hate wet baths. I hate cassette toilets. I personally do not want to pull out my own poop. I am 100% not a fan of that. Nothing more to say, nothing more needed to be said. That's number one. Do you have a dislike yet or no? Cause I can give you two and three. Go ahead. Okay. Number two, if you want to exit the RV for me, Andrea, please. So, this is on the Mercedes 2500 chassis, which appeals to a lot of people, being 19 feet, five inches long. Uh, because of that, they have to put the kitchen here, which is totally blocking your door. Yeah. And because of that, this is the entry, which if you're a little bit thicker like me, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have some issues walking in and out of this motorhome. Um, again, you know, this motorhome, it's small, it's compact. You might have to do the Macarena coming in or out of it, but that's no big deal. So that's number two. And then number three, this, this is a personal dislike. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna say everybody's not gonna agree with me. What? I actually have a dislike. Oh, well you tell me yours and maybe okay. we'll combo it. Um, I didn't want to say anything. I'm glad you said something about this being right here. Cause that's what was kind of throwing me off. But I will say, what I don't like is how this seat does swivel. Yep. And we don't get offered like a, a workstation right here. Oh, like okay. To to come up or a counter or yeah. over right here to fold over. Okay. Because this being a single seat, it would be a good workstation. Yeah, you know? certainly. No, that that's a great so. point. Well, we're going to make it a combo. Cause I want to say mine as well. Okay. Uh, I don't like these screens here. 
I wish it was the type that yes. was the magnetic, yep. not the Velcro. I agree. And you know, that, that wasn't worthy of its own solo dislike, yes. so I'm glad we comboed it together. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Oh Andrea, my goodness, where do we begin? Where do we where do we start? You I'm go first. I'm sitting you... right here. Okay. The size of the refrigerator. Yes, I'm crazy. Sorry, guys. I watch a lot of Class B stuff, and the fridges are always like this small. And they're always on the ground. Yes. So this is great. You don't have to bend over to put your groceries in. Yep. Right here, you even get a little freezer. Yep. That's fantastic. It is very very nice. So that's number one. Number two, Andrea, is going to be this back bed area. I like how it's a seat. I like how I have plenty of head space. And I loved how easy it was to drop this bed down and to make these things uh, jackknife down. Your cushions aren't gonna be going anywhere or anything like that. It is a very, very nice feature. And it's simple. It's not 10 steps to make a bed. It's two steps, right. you know? I agree. So that's number two. and then. Number three, Andrea, we're going outside. All right. I bet I know what it is. So number three, Andrea, it's going to be the size of this motorhome. It's going to be the lift kit for the off-road driving, yep. which we're about to show you, Andrea, driving it in just a second. <laughs> the all-terrain tires, the look, the feel. You guys know I'm not a Class B guy, and I'm not going to pretend that I am. But with that said, if I was if I was that type and if I was the off the grid type and I want the solar and I want the 4x4 this motorhome right here this one right here Andrea is for you it's awesome and badass it's gonna give you that ruggedness you want with the quality and style of the Mercedes on top of that well Andrea that's it that's the review you ready to hop on this thing I am all right let's go Ready to drive this thing? Okay, so we're gonna drive down this way. I'm gonna drive next to you and then I want you to run up on the curb and then we're gonna go off. have any questions about this RV please call text send us an email it is Matt's RV reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that is my personal cell or the best thing to do is go to Matt's RV reviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs again if you want pricing on this and you want to buy one contact my team or Becky B and we will get you an amazing price on it or if you're not ready to buy it don't bug them bug me send me an email and I'll be able to answer questions about it for you Andre, is there anything you want to say? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Or we'll be reading your comments, you guys. Yes, world premiere. Yep, especially with it being a brand new floor plan and model. So let us know what you guys think. I hope you guys are safe and well. And Andrea, great job driving. Thank Thanks, everyone, for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.